Hello, good evening. Police Scotland's Assistant Chief Constable Bernard Higgins insists he's done nothing wrong following news he's been suspended, while an investigation into allegations of criminal conduct is carried out. Our Home Affairs correspondent Reval Alderson reports. Bernie Higgins has been one of the most high profile of Police Scotland's officers. As head of operational support, he was in charge of public order and, crucially, the forces armed police. Now the Assistant Chief Constable is the second Chief Officer under investigation. The threat level itself, as you know... Chief Constable Phil Gormley was already on special leave following separate allegations of gross misconduct. Both men deny any wrongdoing, but the Tories say the government must now get a grip on the situation. Uh, I think it's very important at times like this that the Scottish Government shows leadership and actually steps in and deals with the issue, something they've been manifestly reluctant to do so far. Uh, and I think this time we have to see a, a strong and positive reaction from the Scottish Government. The work of ordinary officers continues and figures published yesterday show further drops in overall crime across Scotland. The government says it can't intervene in the internal affairs of the force, which it says is now more transparent and accountable than ever. Operational matters are the responsibility of the Deputy Chief Constable and uh, we need to make sure that they're given the space in order to direct that and take that forward in a way that they think is appropriate. Now is not a time for politicians to start controlling policing uh, and that's simply not the way in which policing has ever been delivered in this country. Following the controversies of stop and search and the use of armed officers on routine duties, this is another blow to public confidence in the national force. Reval Alderson, reporting Scotland. A leading academic is being investigated by police over claims of sexual and physical abuse. Professor Kevin O'Gorman was dismissed from his post at Heriot Watt University earlier this month for gross misconduct. He denies any wrongdoing. Here's Willie Johnston. On behalf of the School of Social Sciences... Professor Kevin O'Gorman was a senior figure in Heriot Watt's School of Management and Languages. Before that, he worked at Strathclyde University. One former student told BBC Scotland the professor abused him over several years as the price of getting his degree and PhD and then a research post. He described physical punishment for allegedly failing tasks, like being hit on his bare bottom with a belt and smacked over the professor's knee. There was also, he said, frequent inappropriate touching he felt unable to reject. He manipulated a vulnerable position to take control. I felt completely trapped. He made it so clear he'd done a big favour and was doing lots for me and was desperate to help, and this was all for me. Even though I knew this shouldn't be happening, I didn't really think I had any say in the matter. I had to do what he said because that was survival. Another junior staff member at Heriot Watt said Professor O'Gorman used a prospect of a better job to get him to perform physical exercises in his underwear over a Skype link and to kneel in the corner of a room. The university confirmed that a member of staff had been dismissed following formal complaints by staff. It said the welfare of students and staff was of paramount importance and independent counselling and advice had been made available. Police Scotland said they're investigating reports of physical and sexual assaults in Glasgow and Edinburgh over the past 12 years and that inquiries are ongoing. Professor O'Gorman's lawyer said his client rejected the allegations which he said were malicious. He would defend himself robustly at the appropriate time and place. Willie Johnston, reporting Scotland. The former television presenter John Leslie has been charged with sexually assaulting a woman in an Edinburgh nightclub in June. He's alleged to have put his hand up the woman's skirt. Scotland have finished their autumn test series on a high with a record-breaking win over Australia. And as Jay Lewis reports, it came after Scotland received a major blow even before kick-off. Words of consolation from Dad for Stuart Hogg, injured in the warm-up and out against Australia. His loss was Byron McGuigan's game, as he was then handed his first Scotland start. Can he control? Can he win the race? A squint kick, but still going, and McGuigan scores for Scotland! Australia took a while to get going, but with two quick tries, they were back in the match. Australia at their best. But not here. Sekopi Kepu off just before half-time. Scotland responded instantly, but just minutes into the second half, Australia were level. 
But after that, Australia were blown away by a sensational Scottish second half showing. Captain John Barkley roaring them on to a record 53 24 points win. Jane Lewis reporting Scotland. And Scotland's women curlers are the new European champions after beating Sweden in Switzerland. Weather now, it's been a chilly day, Gillian has the forecast, hello. It was a cold one, Laura, but we did have some lovely spells of sunshine as well. Here, the sun setting over snow-dusted hills from one of our weather watchers. And tonight, we'll keep those wintry showers coming, especially to northern and western Scotland, also to Northern Ireland, to the likes of the Pennines, the Brecon Beacons, and where you have any wet surfaces. As temperatures fall away, our thoughts turn to ice, and we've got a yellow be aware warning from the Met Office. So we keep those wintry showers coming, and they'll be falling as snow above about 200 metres. A widespread frost as temperatures dip close to freezing if not slightly below and still very windy in the far north, strong to gale force winds. So we head into tomorrow morning, frosty with that risk of ice and still a fair few showers around at first but they'll become increasingly confined to the Northern Isles a few still for southwestern coasts otherwise a lot of dry and bright weather, best of the sunshine across eastern Scotland and the best of the sunshine further south will be across eastern counties of England. Further west and for Wales and for Northern Ireland a fair bit of cloud not as many showers as today but that cloud increasing ahead of a weather system that will bring rain into the west coast of Scotland by the end of tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night rain and hill snow will sweep south and eastwards right across the country. By the time we get into Monday morning we're back to a regime of sunshine and showers the showers wintry on the hills best of the brightness across eastern Scotland and a cold northerly wind setting in. That's the forecast. Bye for now.